Carolee, as you know, um, everybody's in a different place, right? With their, with their journey, perhaps um, with Maximo um, or maybe considering Maximo, but, but talk a little bit about, um, about what your experience has been with regard to folks on that journey. What are some of the things they should be thinking about as they're considering upgrading, um, really getting into this next level of, uh, of the product? That's right, Doug. Thank you. And that was our conversation earlier. You know, wherever you're at on your Maximo journey, and frequently we see this, we'll see uh, customers come in and they'll do an implementation, uh, which perfectly meets their needs and, uh, and, and addresses the problem they're trying to solve. But it's easy to stop there. When you continue to look and you continue to mine the software for the additional capabilities, it has, then you continue to get the much more incremental value out of the software journey. So we've continued to build these things. We've built things into oil and gas, like uh, turnaround uh, systems that have been developed with our clients and continually enriched. And so if you think about uh, wherever you're at on that journey, thinking about the additional incremental things that you want to achieve, it could be very low hanging fruit, especially if you already have the platform there and you already have the data there. Making the steps to AI and, and even to agentic AI is actually not such a big stretch. You just have to get started on the journey. And actually, frequently we find customers can actually uh, go through a POC and find value just in a couple of months for a big problem they've been trying to solve because technology moves so quickly. Well, I wanted to touch on that point because uh, it has been obviously a, a raging conversation here at Solutions Review, all of the AI um, developments, all the AI technologies. It was, it's lovely to see uh, the Watson logo in all this uh, because as we all know, Watson has been around for the longest in terms of uh, tackling AI. And, uh, and, it, and it's important, I think, for people to recognize that sometimes it feels um, a little overwhelming uh, with all of the AI technology that's happening, that it can almost be a little paralyzing you know, should I do something? Should I wait? Everything seems to be happening so fast. Um, but I, I, I want you to just chat a little bit about, um, maybe Ravi, chat a little bit about where Watson comes in here to kind of calm everybody down and not worry about all the noise that's happening out there because it has been um, baked in, you know, for some time now. Yep. So, so maybe I'll, I'll quickly go to, to the history of Watson. So Watson has been uh, in the AI space for more than one and a half decade now and evolved uh, to better support generative AI and, and you know, it, it's Watson X now. And, and when we look at, uh, uh, you know, Maximo and its collaboration with Watson X, uh, you know, uh, it, it's, it's deeply integrated with Maximo's core functionality. And uh, looking at the Maximo assistant example, which I've shown, uh, so Watson X is, is something which convert, which does the conversion of uh, the natural language into uh, uh, into queries and, and uh, reaching out to the database for extraction and sharing it back to the users. So, and, and not just for that example, uh, for each and every example we have, it's, it's uh, fully, uh, uh, you know, powered by WatsonX and it's deeply integrated with Maximo's core functionality. And we also have, you know, the, these models are domain specific beyond uh, uh, anything we have. Uh, and all our future roadmaps will have generative AI components in them and uh, will evolve in the upcoming releases. Uh, well, Carol Lee, um, talk talk a little bit about the the experience that people have uh, reaching out and 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 having that conversation. How does IBM uh, engage? What is the what can they expect in terms of the account management, the 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 sales support, the account support? I mean, what is the what is the experience that people can expect? So great, great question, Doug. And we have hundreds of partners um, all around the globe that are very, very competent. And many, 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 many partners, hundreds of partners that just specialize in Maximo alone. They can very quick, quickly take you on a journey. We also have our, uh, our expert labs that we built with an IBM for very, very quick deployment. Uh, Maximo, if you just want to get to another level. We also have IBM Consulting, who is uh, you know a, a, a great asset inside the organization who is really helping our customers um, drive these solutions to their fullest potential, looking across other EM systems, uh, looking across the entire enterprise to, to get that kind of 
a unified view uh, across the whole organization. So I think it's just really important that you get into a dialogue and you start anywhere in terms of the account teams. You know, we um, have got uh, people all across the globe. We're about 260,000 people strong here at IBM. We put loads of money into our research and into our, our expertise. And so in particular in oil and gas, we'd love to have a dialogue because people are probably doing it somewhere. And if they have it, then we'd also like to direct them to many of our user groups. For example, uh, Go Maximo is having their 15th anniversary here in Houston. I know that's Houston based, but there's lots of uh, oil and gas and lots of Maximo user groups that exist around the globe. So we're happy to connect anybody to those user groups in their region and to those teams in their region so they can continue to take this journey with IBM. Uh, Ravi, I, uh, we have a we do have a question um, of uh, from from our audience member, and and it does speak to the idea of having some uh, data preparation that needs to occur. Um, so their their specific question is: Can we use this tool for tracking data of previously executed contract services? Um, and and I think that speaks to. Um, Maybe the larger question, and you can answer that and and this, which is um, how should people be thinking about um, preparing data in order to take full advantage of all that the generative AI and the Watson X uh, integration offers? Yeah, so so maybe I'll, I'll answer the first question and, and then go to the second one. So 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 Maximo has all the information available. Uh, so. Taking the same example of contracts, we have all the old contracts available in Maximo. You can just query the same question, saying, "I just wanted to see the list of contracts rolled out from a particular in, a, in a, within a particular date range." It'll automatically give us uh, a table of all the contracts rolled in that particular date range. So it's it, it's doable. Uh, it'll work in the same way. And and uh, to your second question uh, uh, around, yeah, the, the second question around data driven journey. Uh, so so data governance is. Uh, again, I want to go back to the uh, EI ladder. So data cleansing and data governance are the first part. So uh, we, we already have data within Maximo, but it should be very much structured. So the cleansing can be done in multiple ways. We can leverage uh, you know, even the MROU solution to do the cleansing on the uh, material side. At the same time, when we, when we look at our maintenance process or work orders, it's important for us to uh, fill all the critical fields uh, in order to have proper data available for the model to predict in future. Uh, very much appreciated to have you both on uh, for this conversation, uh, and best of luck with uh, with all of the moving parts, both te technologically and geopolitically, uh, over the next year. Thank you, Doug. It was our pleasure, and please call on IBM. That's what we're here to do. We've built a reputation uh, for over the last 120 years by you know, being a company that's stable and dependable and in the community. So please, please take advantage of, of IBM. We're here to serve you. If your business would like to be featured in a future event, contact us today.